All right, so what I wanna do now is go a little bit deeper into the topic of variables. So we already saw that we could declare a variable using the keyword let, but we also have the keyword const and we have the keyword var, okay? Although we don't use it anymore, you do need to understand what it does. So to start this lesson off, I'm just going to open my explore tab here, okay? And again, there's a shortcut for that. If you're on a Mac, just hover over that. It should give you the shortcut. If you're on Windows, you can hit Control and then B, and it's going to toggle it back and forth, okay? So I'm going to click on this basics.js, which is a file we've been working on, okay? And then I'm just gonna get that Explorer window out of the way. All right, so what I wanna do now is just recap what we know about let before we go into const and var. So when you work with let and you want to declare a variable, you type the keyword let, and then you're gonna type your variable name. So I'm gonna do first name, and then you're gonna use the equal sign or the assignment operator in JavaScript, and then you're gonna put your value. So in this case, I'm going to use a string. So it's going to be my name surrounded by double quotes. Okay, so make sure that when you're using something as a string, that the quotes match. Remember, you can use double quotes, single quotes, or backticks, but you don't wanna mix and match, okay? So that's gonna give me an error. You wanna make sure that if you start with double quotes, you end with double quotes. If you start with single quotes, you end with single quotes. If you start with backticks, you end with backticks, so on and so forth. So right now, I've declared a variable first name, and I've assigned the value of John to that variable, okay? So what we wanna think about now is, let's dump this to the console. So I'm just going to do console.log, inside the parentheses, I'm gonna put the variable name. So let's stop for a minute and think about what JavaScript's gonna do. On the first line, we've declared a variable first name and we've assigned the value of John to it. So you can think about this as being a box or a container that's now holding a value inside of it of John. Then when we get to the console.log statement, it's looking for this variable first name. It finds it and it says, hey, what's the value there? The value is John. So that's what it's going to output to the console. So let's go ahead and view this in the terminal. So again, you can hit terminal, new terminal, or you can use your shortcut. And what I'm gonna do here is type out node space, the name of the file, basics.js, and hit enter. Okay, and I'm just gonna get John as an output. Okay, so that's right there. That's all I'm looking for. So let's go ahead and minimize this real quick. And I wanna show you something else you can do with let that we haven't talked about. If you need to change the value of your variable throughout the program, and you've declared the variable using let, you're able to do that. So what I can do is retype the variable name. So it's just first name equals, let's say I change my name to Steve, for example. And then if I console.log this first name variable, what's gonna happen is I'm first gonna get an output of John, okay? Then I'm gonna get an output of Steve. Okay, so what happens is JavaScript has changed the value or updated the value or the contents in that box. It's pulled John out and it's put Steve in, okay? So if we run this in the terminal real quick, let's go ahead and clear this and run this, we get John first and then Steve second, okay? So it's reading this from top to bottom. So another thing you need to know about let is if you try to reuse the keyword let, okay, it's gonna throw an error. So once you've declared the variable using let, you want to reassign a different value to that variable just with the variable name. So if I try to run this, I'm going to get an error, right? So you can see that it says syntax error identifier first name, which is a variable name, has already been declared. Okay, so you don't want to do that twice. So let's go ahead and clear this out and pop this over. And I'm just going to remove this let, okay? And I just wanna show you one more thing with let so that you understand this. So I'm gonna type let and then first name, and I'm not gonna give it any value whatsoever. So let's say we console.log my first name variable now. What do you think I'm going to get? Well, you're gonna get a value of undefined. So let me explain what this is. When you declare a variable, but you don't give it a value, then what happens is you are gonna be automatically assigned a value of undefined for your variable, okay? So if you see undefined when you're working with something, you know that a variable was declared, okay, but it was never given a value. So let's pop this terminal open real quick, and let's see this real quick. So we run this and we get undefined, okay? And we'll talk more about this in the next section. Let's close this for now. Once you've declared the variable up there, you can then assign a value down here. So I can say John, for example, and if I console.log this first name variable, well now, again, when I first started here, I declared the variable first name, but I didn't give it a value. So JavaScript said, hey, it's undefined. 
So when we console.log here from our line two, we're gonna get undefined. Then first name got assigned a value of John. Okay, so now we put John in the box. So when we console.log first name, the value of John is what's gonna come up on our screen. So let's go ahead and run this real quick and see that. So we get undefined and then John. All right, so now let's talk about the keyword const. So you use const when you don't want the value of the variable to change throughout your program. So you might have some constant like, let's say a lucky number. Let's go up here and just delete all this. So I'm gonna say const lucky number and set this equal to 21. Okay, so that's my lucky number. So let's say it's never gonna change for me. So I just put that there and I'm never gonna change it. So let's just go down here and console.log our lucky number variable. And of course, we're going to get 21 in the console here. So we'll clear this and run this and we get 21, okay, as expected. But let's say I come here and I try to reassign a different value now. So let's say I put 13 here, okay? So now I'm saying, hey, lucky number, I want you to go into that box, okay? And I want to pull out 21 and put 13 in. Well, because I declared lucky number with const instead of let, I'm not allowed to do that. So what's going to happen is I'm going to get an error here. So we clear this and run this. It's going to say type error assignment to constant variable. So why is this useful? Why would you not want to be able to change a value? Well, it's pretty helpful because it can prevent you from making errors. Okay, you can accidentally overwrite something. Okay, a value that should have been the same. You might forget if you're writing a really long program or if you're working on a program with someone else. You might try to name something the same as somebody else. Okay, and there's other ways to protect against this, but essentially if you put something down with const, it can't be changed. And if you try to change it, you're gonna get an error. So you're gonna know right away, hey, I made a mistake. Okay, so in general, we're gonna use const as much as possible, unless we know in advance we're going to have to change the value, okay? So you'll see me use const a lot throughout this course, and you can always go back and update it from const to let if you need to. So that's the general rule. If you wanna use something and you don't know if it's gonna change, start out with const, and then if it does have to change, go back and update it to let. All right, so lastly, let's talk about declaring a variable using the keyword var. So you wanna just type var, okay, just like with the other ones. So we wanna type var, and then let's continue with first name. So first name, and again, this is gonna be John for me. And just like with let, I can reassign. So I can say first name is equal to, let's say, Steve. And it works the same way. So if I was to, let's say, console.log, this first name variable, okay? And I'll go ahead and copy that and cut this away and put that there. Well, if I run this, what I'm gonna get is John and Steve again. So no issues, it works the same, but here's a problem. Let's say I type var again. So I'm redeclaring the variable here. You're not gonna get an error like you would with let. So if you pop this open and clear this and run this, you get John and Steve, it doesn't throw an error, it doesn't care, it doesn't do anything, okay? So I don't wanna go too far into why using var is a bad practice. You need to really understand things about scope and functions and stuff we just haven't gotten to yet. So I wanna just leave that alone for now. I just want you to know that if you see var while you're working on older projects or older tutorials or older code bases, it's the old way to declare a variable.